it's been a while since I've done this. There are two reasons why I haven't uh, posted the next Let's Play. One of them is because, well, I was doing the submarine level, and um, it was actually pretty interesting. But the f problem was, my mic was muted the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty bad. And I didn't learn about that until after I finished my recording. That was kind of a two-part level, too. So that I pretty much missed out on two levels. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> And secondly, um, my reasoning is that uh, I didn't really know if um, anyone was really watching these Let's Plays, so I didn't really feel like I should continue them. Although I'm just gonna... I decided I wanted to do this Let's Play kind of out of the blue, just to see if um, anyone was really watching them or not, and depending on if I get any <laughs> sort of response, if people want me to continue it, then I will. Anyway, um... Basically what you guys missed on the submarine level is that, um, well, you found out that the submarine captain was part of the conspiracy. You, I think we actually met him a level or so before. Anyway, the whole conspiracy is, um, about the the 20 are going to s simulate, uh, enact, like, a state of war in the United States, and they're going to use that to, uh, to, to create a coup to overthrow the U.S. government so that they will be in charge instead. Anyway, um... So we took out the submarine captain, who is going to use the submarine as part of that. <sighs> Old nuclear submarines, I guess. And now we're trying to get the hell out of there. Get back to civilization and whatnot. Anyway, let's begin. Open the floodgates and leave the hangar. Pretty simple stuff. Get up there. What weapons do I have? Sometimes you just find weird shit in your inventory, like this spear gun. I didn't... It's like... I found it kind of weird about this game that, uh, sometimes you start with, um, weapons that you didn't pick up in any previous level, like, for example, that one snow level, uh, I, f I had a hunting shotgun, and, uh, I was just, I just escaped the base, and I don't know why. Oh, uh, oh shit, did someone see me? Someone saw me, didn't they? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, um... I forgot how to move things. Oh. Speaking of things, I should probably heal myself. <laughs> Anyways, I've, I've actually been looking over other Let's Plays because I like watching Let's Plays. Uh, oh, he saw me. Um, and I found out that, uh, even if the Let's Players aren't necessarily that too funny, I found that they all have their real unique style. Like, uh, for example, Grimith, uh... A let's player that my boyfriend showed me. Uh, he likes to talk like Strong Bad from Homestar Runner. I don't think that's ex expressly his intent, but that's who I'd like to compare him to. He he talks a lot like this and sounds all tough guy and. Ugh. Well, then again, I'm only just I only really saw the let's play of him playing uh, Oregon Trail, so I'm gonna have to watch a few more. The problem with him, though, it, it, no, it's not really a problem with him. It's just that um, he doesn't play any games I'm really familiar with. Like I never play Alpha Centauri or. Or any games like that. I didn't even play Oregon Trail. I played Oregon Trail 2. I don't know if that was any better or worse, so. <sighs> Fuck ladders. Anyway, um. What I'm gonna die to do, try to do is I'm not gonna try to force my humor. I, I have a problem with that. Like, I make a bunch of bad jokes. And I decide, like,. If I'm going to continue let's pl this Let's Play, I'll try to be, instead, more me. And the, I'm kind of more of an informative person. Like, I know little things about game design and trivia and whatnot, and... Okay. Um... And, uh, depending on your guys' response, um, I may continue that, or whatnot. It really depends. Sorry, it's been a while since i played this game. How do I get to my inventory? That's F key. So, one thing... Alright, for future game designers, this kind of level is really boring, and I'll tell you why. One, the color scheme is very drab, like, look, just take a look at this. There's a lot of white, just some dull gray, and someone's shooting at me. Anyway, there's a little red, but it's also very, very muted. I can understand it kind of because it's at nighttime right now, but, um, it's kind of boring, and the second main reason is because, um, well, the air, it really just focuses on this area, like, you don't really see any variations of this, of this. This is, like, the main area, and suddenly there's a bunch of guys. Um, fuck these grenades, they don't arc very well. 
Um. Uh, I wish I had more crossbow. I guess this will have to do. I want to aim with this thing. Ugh, sorry. Uh, I'll use this for now. Uh, which one's my AR? I got, well, I got someone. Anyway, um, what I was saying is that, uh, it really just focuses on this middle area, which is extremely boring. Like, where the submarine was I just showed you. Um, yeah, like, when you're designing a level, you want... It's it's kind of like designing a party, really. You want your guests to just kind of rotate around stuff. Like one room, one, the the first room is like the entrance room. You have like little appetizers, M and M's, or small candy kind of things. Uh, Jones, do you read Hold on a second. I'm just leaving the airport now. Carrington's taking it from here. He'll pick you up outside Hangar 30. Excellent. Anyway, um, it's like it's like a party. You have you have you kind of have like the little appetizer food, like the candy, or the small f treats. Um... And what does this do? Oh, neat. Anyway, you have the appetizers and the treats, um, and the, and the foyer. Then you have, like, um, you move on to, like, the... the place where you kind of, like, uh... What's that? What? Ah, it's been a while since I went to a party. <laughs> ah, um... Can I crouch? See you. Uh, then you, like, you have, like, the main, the main attraction room. It has, like, a bunch of nice stuff. Like, you, like, whether it be, like, enemies or just something neat to look at, maybe a new power-up or whatnot. And in between that, you use a bunch of, like, small hallways. Like, maybe they have, like, one or two things to look at, like, some enemies to deal with or, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot that you can use your gun while doing this. Um... Or like a like the anyway you move you move on to the bigger thing like the the main attraction might be the cake so to speak oh oh god Ugh. I, I'm sorry it's been a really long time since I played this I, I this thing always trips me up but the main point I'm trying to say is like you you keep moving back and forth but and like you use hallways to connect big rooms with like lots of nice stuff in them and uh, this this is just like uh, how do we do this thing. I think it's E. There we go. Uh, checkpoint reached. But yeah, you just it just focuses around all this area, and this area is quite frankly boring. As you can see, I am kind of nervous on camera still. But anyway, um, all right, that's how we're gonna get out of here. Change of plan. You got a deep success sub to sink the ship. Good luck. Okay, so we need to. Deep six this sub, which means because I'm um, putting explosives on the propeller. Just a note at home, kids. If you, in real life, there's a thing called surface tension, which means um, if you if you um take shelter. Bad place to be. I better turn back. If you fall into the ocean from a high distance, it's like hitting some concrete. It it really fucking hurts. So don't jump like two three stories in the water. It it hurts. Uh, I would not like to be stuck in a cutscene while underwater. Whatever, let's go. Oh, whoops. I failed to complete my objectives? What was my objective? Oh, take shelter, retry. I guess I have to not be in the water. That's weird. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to health kit. Oh, I think I have to be Good out of the water. You should secure the explosives to e. the propeller. Bad place to be. I better turn back. Uh, I should be like away from the bomb right now. Over here. Uh, why can't I interrupt my reload? <laughs> if any of you are making a first-person shooter, please make sure to let me interrupt my reload. Out of the water. Oh no, I just have to be away from the bomb, I guess. And now somebody's shooting me. As usual. But yeah, please, if 
you guys are making any first person shooters, please let me interrupt my reload. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, uh, oh, it's these guys. Shoot spears, don't afraid of anything. Not like it matters, I'm pretty much done with the level. So yeah, um, considering continuing this let's play, I'll try to give you guys some interesting tidbits of advice when I get there. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'm out.